playing ball all throughout the night, never double dribble. My skills will cause ripples to. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Dumble at the Anchor Desk with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll break down the recruiting wars this week with a look at the top recruit signing, as well as take a look at all the exciting games of the week. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. Hartman has already been our choice before, and here he is again. There are very few players who can make it on the list once. Getting on it multiple times is a testament to what a special talent he is. There's news off the court as well as on at this time of the year, as the top high school players in the country are signing their letters of intent. The signing of one player made an especially big splash. The UCLA Bruins are already celebrating, and all this is for a player that has yet to set foot on the university's grounds. Golf probably has the talent to go straight to the pros, but I'm really happy he chose to go to college, and I know everyone on that campus is thrilled as well. He's a high school legend where he grew up down south. He's going to be a very important player for this program, Greg. Not only was he a tremendous player in high school, but he was a tremendous winner as well, and he'll bring that mentality with him. When you find a player that has the ability to score and defend as well as he can, with a bulldog attitude to boot, you have a major building block. There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days, so let's take a look at our games of the week. We have a real shocker here. I don't think too many fans saw this upset coming, which makes it even better. Brigham Young got the better of Michigan State. Yeah, Greg, nobody saw this coming. Michigan State, we're jockeying for a number one seed, but this might throw a wrench in those plans. It would be tough to call them a top team after a loss like this. Bauma was not going to be denied. His 23 points led all scores. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. And next up, let's look back on another great contest from the past week. Wisconsin outdid Marquette. This game needed the full clock to decide who was going to come out as the winner. The action was so back and forth that the crowd never had a chance to relax the entire game. Wisconsin was going into this game looking to build some momentum, and I think they did it, Greg. This win really impressed me just in the way the players carried themselves. They looked to me like a team that could really get into a groove and start doing some serious damage to their opponents. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come.